सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड डोंट फॉगर टू क्लिक बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ एनी फर्दर वीडियोस व्हिच विल बी अपलोडेड इन आवर चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टेकिंग बंकरिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक बंकर इन आवर शिप वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ डीजल बंकर सो व्हाट आर ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी यूजुअली डू ड्यूरिंग बंकर दैट आई वांट टू शो शेयर यू एज अ वीडियो सो बिफोर टेकिंग एनी बंकर and uh, we will make a bunker plan which tank how much oil to be taken how much percentage should be taken everything will be uh, decided before uh, bunker commence so as per the plan we take the bunker oil in each tanks so today we are going to take uh, diesel oil so you can see the bar over here This is a bunker barge that uh, we are going to take bunker of uh, diesel oil, and you can see the hose over here. This is the hose uh, where uh, we are going to uh, get the diesel oil transfer from the bunker hose to our bunker manifold. And uh, you can see the hose is being secured by the bunker barge crane. and uh, the other part of the hose is uh, secured by our crane small crane so you can see uh, before commencing your uh, bunker operation you have to ensure all your uh, soap up items are in place filter pump hose soap up items everything should be in place and your uh, this is your uh, drain plug this is your tip drain and the tip drain plug should be always kept on see now this is your uh, tip 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 tray plug and this should be plugged in so i'm going to plug in now so once the tip tray is uh, clean and everything is uh, proper way and this is your uh, sampling uh, chamber this is where you take the sample of your uh, diesel oil and uh, before uh, connecting the hose you have to ensure your gasket is in a good condition because most of the problem occurs when uh, your uh, gasket is uh, getting uh, ruptured during bunkering and because of that oil spill happens so to avoid that you have to ensure your gasket is in a good condition and you have to uh, fit the hose in a proper way so these are the things that you need to know before uh, commencing bunker first will be your bunker plan and you will be discussing with your bunker plan with all your uh, ship crews in the crew everyone and uh, before starting you have to complete your checklist and uh, again before commencing your uh, bunker uh, you have to ensure all your uh, vent or clear all your drain plugs are in place all your uh, scupper plugs you mean uh, the uh, scupper plug in the deck area in place it is already secured so the reason why we need to put the copper pl uh, plug in place because because in case of any oil spill happen during bunkering the oil don't go overboard so that is the idea for keeping all your uh, copper plug uh, on deck to be kept closed so next uh, before uh, you are uh, you are connecting your bunker manifold you ensure your gasket is in a good condition and uh, now we will connect the gasket now we will uh, connect the bunker pipe okay so before uh, starting the bunker uh, we have to go to the bunker manifold bunker barge and we will take a sounding from the bunker barge along with the bunker surveyor so our uh, ship crew will be going or uh, usually fourth engineer or third engineer will be going for taking sounding in the bunker manifold you can see in the bunker uh, barge you can see two guys who are taking bunker one is uh, one with the helmet is our fourth engineer the other with uh, normal dress is our uh, bunker surveyor he can he will take the sounding and confirm the amount of 
oil in the tank from where the bunker barge is going to supply oil so first they will confirm the quantity from the bunker barge and they will start the bunker once we are done with our bunker again they will go and take a sounding so that they will confirm the exact quantity of bunker which is supplied to our ship okay Now we are uh, connecting the reducer pipe with the flange. This is the main pipe. This is your uh, 6 inch pipe. And uh, in between you can see uh, sampling. Uh, this is where you take the sample of your bunker. And uh, we put a reducer, one more reducer that is 6 inch to 4 inch. And we will try to manage the size of the bunker hose flange. Tight this first. with our uh, reducer connection next we will attach one more reducer so this reducer we are attaching because we need to match the size of the bunker post flange so we are doing that again we have to ensure you are using a good gasket this is a new gasket so we will be putting a new gasket and before uh, putting the gasket just uh, clean your uh, surface area of your flange Put some layer of gasket uh, grease and uh, over here. You can see the plug, dip tray plug is in place now. 
सो डिप ट्रे एरिया इज सिक्यूर्ड एंड द अदर स्कपर प्लग इज ऑल्सो इन प्लेस एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट द in your uh, bunker hole there are chances of uh, bunker hole getting uh, busted out during bunker so you have to ensure the bunker hose is in a good condition you can see the bunker hose is in a good condition only and uh, our manifold this is our bunker manifold you can see this is our bunker manifold so this is for diesel oil this is for heavy fuel oil and you can see for uh, lube oil fuel sludge and everything and for this uh, diesel oil and uh, uh, heavy fuel oil you will be having the pressure gauge over there because uh, we have to adjust the pressure when you are taking bunker of uh, these two grades of uh, fuel uh, these two these two grades of oil and you are pressure gauge to be calibrated so that you will get uh, exactly what is the pressure in your pipeline and your bunker pipeline should be pressure tested very frequently and uh, you can see the bunker uh, pressure testing uh, stances so it, this is a indication like your bunker line is tested and uh, next thing is uh,
pressure of your uh, bunker pipes and uh, okay everything is going well so when we start the bunker we have to check on the other side of the manifold so we checked it already everything is okay the uh, bunker is going on we take the soundings we take the we, we monitor the level rising we start to take your checking okay now we started our bunker our bunker plan so we are supposed to take uh, around 250 meter cube of oil and these are the two tanks that we are going to take so what we do is uh, for this tank we can monitor uh, from the icms which is our uh, computer so we are going to take uh, in this tank and we take in this tank so since we started the bunker already we can see a gradual increase in uh, tank level so this is how we see and monitor the bunker whether we are getting in the right tank or not so frequently what we do is we take a manual sounding or locally and we take the alternate tank sounding also so in order to check whether uh, the other tank should not be uh, by mistakenly uh, the oil should not go in the other tank so now it is clear Number one tank oil is going, and we are taking oil in this tank also. So, since the time we start the bunker, the oil level is only increasing on the tank that we are uh, planned to take. The other tank level is same as earlier. So here we write the uh, tank uh, level every 10 minutes, 15 minutes. This is how we monitor. So and we write the date. Uh, date timing of what time we connect what time bunker start everything we do so okay this is how we monitor during the bunker uh, again we go back to bunker manifold now we are done with our uh, bunker you can see there is no pressure in the hose the hose is completely down and you can see the pressure of the pressure gauge it is totally uh, zero and we filled up our uh, container for uh, taking samples and now we will take the final sounding for our bunker tanks once uh, we agree with the quantity that we received is uh, correct then we will disconnect our bunker hose okay now we are doing the sounding for uh, final sounding for the bunker that we took so once chief engineer confirmed that the level that we took is correct then we will dismantle our bunker hose Done with our uh, bunkering operation. So the quantity that uh, received from the bunker barge and the quantity that we received on board are uh, same. There is no uh, reduction, like uh, there is uh, no shortage of bunker. So once uh, this is confirmed, and Chief Engineer told to remove the uh, disconnect our bunker hose. So before disconnecting our bunker hose, we will have to close the valve. so you can see the valve we already closed it's in shut position and we close the we close the humidifier sampling valve also and uh, okay now we are ready to disconnect our hose okay we disconnect
force is getting released. with the disconnecting of our post. some gaskets and see the gaskets over here which we use uh, which we change every time whenever we do bunker we change the gasket so we avoid using old gasket for the bunkering Some information, basic information about uh, how we take.
taking bunker on board ship and what are all the precautions that we take during bunkering, before bunkering and after.